BJP's machinations against six. In the previous episode, I discussed some of the challenges faced by the Modi government and how the frustrated BJP is targeting innocent six. Today, I will try to expose Modi's efforts for the pre-1984 environment sitting in Punjab and will try to expose their bogey of false flag operations. I will put some light on Modi's revenge against the farmers and how social injustice and diminishing trust in the judicial system of India is creating not only a split within the Indian security forces, but this operation is leading to violence in the province. I will expose how Raw is patronizing the drug mafia and why Modi is trying to delay the state elections in Punjab to undermine six. I'm Bhaflavar Mahmood and you're watching The Now. Pre-1984 environment setting in Punjab Preturbed by demands of the referendum, the Indian establishment using raw and other tools is working on a deliberate plan to repeat the episode of Operation Blue Star. <laughs> In such circumstances, possibility of India using the army to oppress the six peaceful struggle cannot be ruled out. Six need to be aware of the Indian machinations and the world community must take a notice of the Indian high-handedness. The bogey of the false flag operation perplexed by the resolve of the Sikh diaspora abroad. India is trying to use the bogey of the false flag operations to malign the Sikh movement. Indian political leadership will build up a case on the plea of the false flag operation against Sikhs for justice and the other pro-Khalistan setups abroad. India is using its discredited media to establish a link of the Khalistan movement with Pakistan. Indian history is replete with such false flag operations, which I exposed in the two complete episodes. The world community should take notice of it. Modi's revenge against the farmers. Reputational hurt to Modi due to the protracted farmer upper movement is non-digestible. Hence, the Modi will take revenge using a multi-pronged strategy to politically engineer elections, discredit six in the misinformation domain using the judicial lever for forging cases against the prominent six and farmers movement leaders. On the pretext of Khalistan separatism, use security forces to break the wall of those having dissenting views with the center. Use the gaudy media for the political advantage of PJP. He's also planning to use his charisma of personality to influence the foreign governments against the prominent NGOs working for the cause of sex and minorities. Societal injustice and diminishing trust on the judicial system of India Saffronized institutions have polarized the society and the trust of common citizens has vanished away. People prefer to settle the scores through violence over engagement with courts. It has undermined the basic structure of Indian judicial system. Last in Delhi court by a DRDO scientist and a constable in Ludhiana court complex points towards the growing disappointment of people from the government institutions. India, with a corrupt judicial system, will continue to face this challenge until the Hindutva policies are in place. In the next episode, I will discuss how the social injustice and diminishing trust in the judicial system of India is creating not only a split within the Indian security forces, but this operation is leading to violence in the province. I will also expose how Raw is patronizing the drug mafia and why Modi is trying to delay the state elections in Punjab to undermine six.